Good morning, Don Lane, Fraser Valley News, your morning news update as we slowly get back into 2019, the new year. And uh, this is uh, for Wednesday, January the 2nd. A couple of things on the go. Really, to no one's surprise, BC Hydro releasing a, re a report uh, this morning saying that the windstorm we had on December the 20th was their most damaging ever. Bigger than 2006, and that's when a bunch of trees in Stanley Park went down. And 2015, when a windstorm in August did a uh, little bit of damage to the PNE. Bigger than that, more widespread damage, and really just New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, the last of the people who were offline, particularly in the Gulf Islands, finally had their power back. So yeah, this was a wild one. A couple of other stories on the go. There is a GoFundMe page that has been set up for a 12-year-old girl in Sardis uh, who has uh, cerebral palsy, and the family needs about five grand for a wheelchair ramp, just to make it accessible to get in and out and make it easier to get in and out of the house. And if you can help out, the GoFundMe information is up on the website, FraserValleyNewsNetwork.com. Chill TV is putting together a weekly newscast, and uh, they are going to be using the facilities of VBN as well as uh, those of us here at Fraser Valley News. We are looking for you if you want to be not only in front of the camera, but also want to be behind the camera. And no, it's not volunteer. Uh, we are looking for advertisers as well as promotional people. So let us know. All the info is at through chilltv.ca or FraserValleyNewsNetwork.com. Uh, BC Search and Rescue, they are looking for volunteers if you want to get involved. Uh, rain and storm damage, by the way, getting back to the BC Hydro story. Cascade Falls Regional Park, Popkin Community Trail, they're still closed because they're still doing the cleanup. Uh, on Patreon, which is a crowdfunding source, Fraser Valley News is up there. If you want to support independent journalism on a monthly basis, $5, $10, $15 a month, whatever works for you, and all the information up on Fraser Valley News. Last but not least, on New Year's Day, Abbotsford Police tweeted, and we put the story up, a guy was running around stealing those end stickers off of cars. Those are the end novice stickers off the backs of cars. The only reason he was caught was they found him driving without his N sticker on his vehicle. The story up on FEN. Go figure. Have yourself a fantastic day. Uh, we don't expect any wind, a little bit of rain, and we're slowly getting back to work. This is one of those weird weeks because of the holiday and yeah, we're not going to be up to speed until next Monday anyway. If you need uh, any information from us, especially when it comes to letting us know if there's a story we should cover, or if you're interested in advertising or promotions with FEN, we are available on Facebook, on Twitter, Instagram. Fraser Valley News has its own YouTube channel, as you're watching right now. And, of course, on the website, FraserValleyNewsNetwork.com. Have yourself a great day. Don Lane, FEN News.